Uh, his position on our team was uh, unique in the fact that uh, Jaron didn't have a lot to say to many people at all, but uh, Jaron was one of those quiet leaders. And, uh, you know, I really felt like um, he was one of those people that very few coaches have an opportunity to coach. And that was, he, he didn't have to say anything, he just led by his examples. He would uh, not only motivate himself, but he just brought everyone up around him to a higher level. And that was one of our biggest accomplishments as a team, not only having him as a part of that team, but uh, able for him to bring other players to their, their competitive edge too. He was a, a young man out of the Washington area up in Woodenville, Seattle, and a lot of uh, bigger name schools kind of looked over him. Uh, and he'd already won two high school state championships under his belt. And I got a, a DVD and a resume from him. Uh, he stated he was 5'6", and he hit the ball 300 yards. And I had a hard time thinking that was possible. So I started making some phone calls, and all of his high school competitors and coaches, whatnot, um, you know, you know, echoed the fact that he can really move the ball. So he came down, and sure enough, he he could hit the golf ball quite a long ways. I like to tell this little story about Jaron, and uh, it'll feed to the point of uh, when Jaron was a, a freshman. He came out to the golf course one Saturday in the middle of the winter and it's pouring rain. And I watched him practice for about three or four hours uh, in a downpour. And no one else on the team was out there. And the following year, um, he went off that next fall and he won four of his five events, I think, starting the fall season. That January, he came back out in the middle of the rain on a Saturday, no one there to tell him what to do or anything like that. And here comes eight of his teammates. And they all followed his example. And they understood what it meant to make a commitment and the sacrifice. And that's what Jaron has always been about. He's, he's committed, he's, a, he's always willing to sacrifice uh, what it takes to get the things that he, he sets for his goals. So uh, for a coach, you know, I couldn't have asked for a better student athlete in that regard. Well, I think the moment was, uh, you know, uh, it was overwhelming by many of us, especially Jaron's dad, George. Uh, he was on the green faster than any of the other players were, and I can attest to the fact that, you know, being a father of two kids and so forth, having his two sons out there competing and winning the national championship, uh, it was a it was a surreal moment. Uh, I knew that going into that playoff, if, if we made pars, that we would win, and uh, the guys knew that, and they were felt comfortable and confident about it. Just that moment, though, when we won the national championship. It dawned on every single one of us that this is ours forever and no one can ever take that away. And it's an accomplishment that very, very few people, uh, especially college athletes, can ever say. Uh, Jaron made a conscious decision that he was going to be the best player he could have been in college golf. One of the statistics that, you know, I'm not sure if everyone even recalls, but he played you know, four competitive years in, in college golf and never once finished out of the top ten. And when Mr. Nicholas at the award ceremony heard that, he was in shock and turned to Jaron and said, you know, how do you do that? And Jaron's explanation was really straightforward and real simple. And he said, Mr. Nicholas, I never give up. And I thought that was, you know, words to live by. And uh, from that point going forward, you know, Jaron has proven himself in all aspects of life not to give up. And uh, he's over in Asia, as we know now, playing. So Jaron, sorry you're not here with us. Uh, George and Jansen, you're here. I'm happy day that you're here accepting this on his honor. And, um, um, I wish I could be there with you guys. Jaron Todd, you know, extraordinary athlete, extraordinary golfer, and extraordinary young man.